Hey guys, Bear here. Um, I just want to talk about something today. Keep this as short as possible. I want to talk about something that happened yesterday. Um, the world lost probably one of the funniest and most intuitive men, creative men in the world uh, and that has ever lived, probably. Robin Williams um, died yesterday, took his own life, and... It was all due to depression. Um, not a lot of people know this about me, but I actually suffer from um, some depression for about six years now. I've been battling it. And I'm seeing a lot of things on, you know, the books, you know, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and um, being like, oh, you know, he was so rich. What did he have to be depressed about? Everybody knew him. What do you have to be depressed about? Material things like that really have no um, hold on something as deep as depression. Me personally, I could be fine one minute, next moment, next moment I would be in a deep, uh, like almost pit of just despair for three or four days straight. You know, my mom would come and, is there anything I do for you? Nothing. I'd literally be in my bed for three or four days and not eat anything, not do anything. Um, and it's, it wasn't something that, you know, could be fixed. It was just something that was and still is I still it's not as severe now I don't take any medication for it I'm just learning to do a lot of things differently in my life to alter my mindset one thing I know help me personally is helping others you know um taking this chance on myself and actually trying to make take my personal training business to a new level um has definitely helped me um, you know, everything I do for charity, everything I do for 50 feet closer to a cure, um, everything I do for, um, you know, all these causes that are taking up my time and my money, I find soothe my mind, you know, um, I know it's kind of weird cause I don't know where I'm going with this, but what I want to explain is, you know, Depression is one of those diseases that doesn't have a face. You know, when you when you think of cancer or AIDS or even alcoholism, you know, there's clear signs of it. Whereas a lot of people I talk to um, about my depression, they say snap out of it or get over it or stuff like that. It's not really that easy. It's not a switch that I could flip on and off. Um, and one thing I really want everybody to do, if they have the time to do it, is read up. Um, you can go to the ADAA, the um, Anxiety and Depression Association of America. Um, there's some really good information on there. My mom suffers from severe anxiety. I suffer from depression. I don't really know if there's a family history other than that, but... Um, you know, anxiety and depression are some serious, serious uh, disabilities that can break you easily. And a lot of people, you know, they they don't really know what anxiety is. It's true, everybody has anxiety. Everybody has a little bit of depression. But to be clinically depressed and to be clinically diagnosed with anxiety, that's taking it to a whole new level. And so I, I would really... Um, Appreciate it, you know, not just for me, but for you to, you know, if you know anybody, to understand, go to the ADAA. Um, I think, I believe it's ADAA.org um, and read up on what this disease can do and um, understand that it's more than just, you know, snapping out of it. You know, if somebody as great as Robin Williams felt hopeless enough to end his own life um you know it's 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 almost like a double-edged sword you know though we with the world didn't want to lose him 
now that this happened, maybe people will take depression a little bit more seriously. Um, you know, it's, it's the fact that people are still feeling this way, um, enough to end their lives. It's very troubling to me, kind of heart wrenching in a way. Um, and you know, you try to do the most you can for your others and you sometimes forget to take care of yourself. So if you know somebody that suffers uh, from depression or anxiety, um, just be there for them. Don't assume anything, you know, don't um, tell them to snap out of it or, or, or cut it out. You know, ask them if there's anything you can do to help. Ask them if there is something that um, you can do. Be there for them. Support them. Don't try to drag them out if they don't want to go out. Don't don't um, invade their privacy if they don't want if they want to be left alone. But just make them know that you're there for them, and that means the world. Trust me. Um, if you have any questions on depression or anxiety, feel free to comment or um, ask me, and I'll gladly answer as much as I know. I'm not a you know um, expert. On the subject, I've just been around it my whole life with my mom and uh, myself over the past six years. But, um, you know, feel free to ask anything. And as always, be good.